Hi, Pete here from Club Engineer. At last it's time to build our first rescue bot. The robot you eventually compete with at Robocup will need to be your own work. But to get started, we'll build the robot shown here on the screen. This robot features a sturdy design with a single light sensor centered between the wheels. Before we start construction, there are actually two robot designs you can choose from. The one you choose will depend on whether or not you have access to an Omni wheel. Both robots are equally good, so if you don't have an Omni wheel, it doesn't matter. The Omni wheel robot will look like this. The robot without the Omni wheel will look like this, using two Lego 90 degree lift arms with an elliptical bend in the corner as a skid plate. To find the designs, open your browser and browse to clubengineer.org slash online learning slash robotics slash build hyphen instructions. The two designs to choose from are at the top, CE RaceBot version 1 or CE RaceBot version 1 with an Omni wheel. Each of these designs has a bill of materials where a list of all the Lego pieces you will need to build the robot can be found. I suggest you find all these pieces and put them in one place before you start construction. The Club Engineer RaceBot version 1 uses only the materials available in the Lego Mindstorm NXT educational kit with the addition of perhaps a couple of cable ties. Club Engineer RaceBot version 1 with OmniWheel uses all the parts available in the NXT educational kit plus some cable ties plus the OmniWheel. If you wish to purchase an OmniWheel they're available from rotocaster.com.au slash robotic wheels. So, work through the bill of materials, find all the pieces you need and put them in one place. Then, click on the build instructions where there's a series of photographs that can be scrolled through by clicking the arrows here, giving instructions how to put the robot together. Good luck with your building and when we're done we'll look at programming the robot to perform some basic moves. The material we're covering in these talkthroughs is hard and sometimes, in spite of your best effort, you may find that you're stuck. Often, it only takes a small amount of face-to-face -face help to get you back on track. If you think you'd benefit from face-to-face -face help, then open your web browser and type clubengineer.org slash help. You'll see a list of times and places where face-to-face -face help is available. At these sessions, you'll get all the help you need to get back on track. You may also meet like-minded young engineers such as yourself for collaborating on projects down the track. Face-to-face -face sessions are run over the school holidays and after school during term time. They're available for all ages from years five to year 12. We also run face-to-face -face sessions for teachers and mentors. We'd love to meet you at one of these sessions and learn what you have been building.